Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Superman Lois Season 3. We've got another theory video for you guys, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay guys, so we are back with videos. I apologize that there's only been one video this week. And that was because I was traveling, I was away, I was busy, I couldn't get on my laptop, so I apologize for that. But we are back with regular content and live streams, so please be sure to stick around as we go through this very long dry season of barely any DC TV shows. Stargirl season 3 is actually coming out in August so that is going to be a show that we will hopefully cover but again you guys have to show interest in the show for me to actually cover it it's just the fact that the videos need to do good in order to make the content so hopefully you guys are excited for Stargirl considering that none of the other Arrowverse shows are going to be coming back this year we're going to have to wait for The Flash season 9 and Superman Lois season 3 until early next year in January at the mid-season point for the CW that's when they're going to be releasing the shows and so in the meantime like we do every year when no shows are on we go into theory mode and in theory mode we come up with cool ways of bringing new characters in new crossover ideas and anything else regarding the shows that seems like a pretty cool idea so as always if you want to be featured in a video please be sure to comment below a theory idea that you have make it an interesting theory and i will include it in a future video and it can be superman lois related the flash related arrowverse related or even to do with the dcu or hbo max and we will be sure to cover it but for now, let's go ahead and jump into today's main topic. So this came from a suggestion of one of you guys, Manachem on YouTube. It was on a live stream, it was a while ago, and it's just something that I noted down because I thought it was a very interesting idea. And this idea follows on from some other theories we've had recently. And these ideas were actually spawned after Season 2's finale of Superman Lois, where we got the big establishment that Superman Lois is not set on Earth Prime, but it's still in the Arrowverse. And there was an interview that was released with the showrunner of the show, Todd Helbing. And he actually talked about the potential of other characters that we've seen in the past coming back and showing up in the show. And he used one specific example, and he was asked about Supergirl. And he said, if Supergirl showed up on Superman Lois, it would not be the Supergirl that we know and it may even be recast. So it wouldn't be like potentially Melissa showing up in the show if she was not available. So this led many people to believe that a different version of Supergirl could show up at Superman Lois's world at some point. And I have to say, I think that could totally happen and I'm a big supporter for other versions of characters showing up. I love that on The Flash and I would really like another version of Supergirl to show up. Some ideas we talked about recently was the DCU version of Supergirl showing up on Superman Lois, especially because of all the fluctuations going on in the DCU right now, and the potential fact that the Flash film might not come out for a long time or it might get shelved. And so that's why we talked about maybe Sasha Kale Supergirl showing up in Superman Lois at one point. Another idea that we had, and I think it's a very strong idea, is that Power Girl, the Earth 2 version of Supergirl, could show up. And that would be pretty much exactly what Todd Helbing was teasing. You know, the idea of a completely different Supergirl doesn't have to be a doppelganger, but it can be someone that is somewhat similar, but has a different origin. And that's why Power Girl, instead of an alternate version of Supergirl, would be a very good idea, in my opinion. But the idea today that we're going to be talking about is the idea of a younger version of Supergirl showing up at one point. Now, this could totally be the Supergirl we've seen in the Arrowverse before, and I'm talking about the Midvale version of Supergirl, played by Isabella Vidovic, who has shown up on Supergirl many times in the past, and considering that she's probably less busy than Melissa, because Melissa was one of the big reasons why Supergirl actually came to an end, because she wanted to move on to other projects, so you can presume she's probably not going to come back to the character anytime soon. And so the idea of rebooting Supergirl, but using someone familiar, would be an interesting idea, having a young version of Supergirl to pair alongside Superboy. 
would actually really work in my opinion. I think that would be great because that doesn't just give an equivalent to Supergirl, it gives a new version of Supergirl, a younger version of Supergirl that we've previously seen, but they can totally reboot her just like they did to Lucy Lane. And so she would be the Supergirl of Superman Lois's Earth, whatever Earth number it turns out to be. And maybe she is just another local in Smallville, or she could live in National City, anywhere else in the world, it really doesn't matter. But at one point, it's imperative that she shows up and she's at this young age, so she's able to be played by Isabella Vidovic, and she would eventually get trained alongside Superboy to get to know her powers, and she would just basically be kind of adopted into the family. I don't know if she has her own family, does she have her equivalent to Alex Danvers? Who knows, because like the showrunner said, it would be something completely different. So I think maybe being trained by Superman would be an interesting twist, and having her pair up alongside Superboy, that being Jordan Kent, of course, would be something that would definitely intrigue fans. Now, that is just one idea that she is the Supergirl of Superman Lois's Earth, just at a young age. Now, there is always the chance that a completely different version of Supergirl could show up, who is older, the same rough age as Clark, but a little bit younger, because that's how they did it in the past. But another idea to include the young Supergirl is that she is Supergirl from another Earth, and she shows up, and maybe she already has powers, she knows a little bit about herself, because if you guys didn't know, on Krypton, they are normal, but when they show up on Earth, they notice that they have abilities quite early on, and so, obviously, if she's been here for a while, and she's been hiding out, she would know that she has powers, and so there's the option of this young Supergirl, who has already trained herself, and she's been secretly being Supergirl and doing superhero duties in the dark for a while, but she could have a similar origin to someone like Natalie or John Henry Irons, who has come from another Earth and escaped from another Earth, and is on Superman Lois's Earth, and that is why she hasn't been noticed in the past, because on her Earth, she's been superheroing, she's been doing it secretly, but then somehow she ends up on this Earth, having travelled across the multiverse, and now she's just surfacing for the first time. Now, I think this could apply to any version of Supergirl that would show up, it could be Power Girl just from another Earth. I don't think it's too far-fetched to assume that characters can show up from the multiverse, and I don't think it's too far-fetched to assume that a version of Kara Zor-El or Kara Danvers already exists on Superman Lois's Earth. It's all really down to what the showrunner wants, what does Todd want, does he want to show a version of Supergirl in the future, or is this just something that he mentioned in that interview and he doesn't actually intend to do for a while? I'm not saying that this is going to happen in Superman Lois Season 3, no. I don't think that is very likely at all. I think if this happens, it would probably be a little bit further down the line. I would say Season 4, Season 5 is a good bet, definitely. I think if it's anything beyond that, I would be surprised. Just look at the track record of something like The Flash, because, you know, you had Nora showing up for the first time in Season 4, so I would give it a kind of parallel. What happens if you get an interesting character that pops up out of nowhere, and you eventually get the big reveal that this character is somehow related to the main character of the show, this being Superman and Lois, in terms of Superman and Lois. And I think it's hard to ignore the Supergirl factor in you know, Superman Lois is at the end of the day a spin-off off of Supergirl and the crossovers because that's where they established Superman and also Lois. And also in the comics, it's always been a big deal in the Superman family that the Supers work together, that the House of Val works together. So at some point you would presume they're going to consider bringing in new House of Val members that expand beyond what we've already established with Tal Ro and Superman's Earthbound family, and everyone that has popped up already. I think there's definitely more opportunities to introduce new good Kryptonians, and definitely an alternate version of Supergirl could be a great opportunity for the show to expand the Arrowverse and actually establish their own version of Supergirl. But this has been a little bit of a crazy theory video. I really don't know if this is going to happen, I'm hoping a version of Supergirl shows up at some point on Superman Lois, 
I don't mind if it's not Melissa, just based on the fact that I love Supergirl as a character. And yes, I would love it if Melissa showed up at some point, but I'm not holding my chips just on that happening because I don't think it's that likely for a long time. But that pretty much does it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it would really help out the channel and this video. And also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.